Oh no. Oh shit. What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn, and we are Reaction, Reaction Dragons. Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon's Lair, and a quick reminder guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Join the Dragon Squad, and if you want to check out full reactions to this and more, make sure to check out our Patreon. We have different Dragon tiers, we have exclusive content for shows such as One Punch Man, Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer, and more. We do full length movie reactions, polls, and you even get discounts off our merch. Loyal patrons even get free merch. So check us out, patreon.com slash reaction dragons. Thanks so much for the support guys. Now what's on the main for today, Glacier? Back at you with a show that actually surprised us, Shadow and Bone, episode three, the making at the heart of the world. Making at the heart of the world. And yeah, um, last episode was great. I mean, this whole show so far, you know, they're two for two as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, there's episodes, but last place we left off, Alina is at the palace now. So I feel like for right now she's safe because she's surrounded by Grisha, especially the most powerful one, uh, Kirigan. Yep. So I'm guessing at this point, he's probably gonna start training her, or at least introduce her to some of the higher ups in the palace. I wonder if the heart renders are actually more powerful too, because they, they can control his inner body or not, you know? That's true, because I mean, thanks to you guys in the comments, um, we did a little bit of research, we watched that little intro video about the show. So we got a better understanding as far as the different classes of Grishas, as far as like the Theriakis, the Corporakis, and the Materiakis. Um, there's still probably a lot to learn, and then we also got a little bit of understanding of the map as far as where everything is geographically. Yep. Which actually makes sense because on one end of Ravka, you have Fjorda, which makes sense because those are those soldiers that were trying to kill the Grishas. And then on the other end, there's, um, I think it's Shuhan. I remember Alina saying in the first episode that her mom might have been Shu, because she said that like her mom had the face of an enemy, which can make sense why all the kids were like making all these sideways comments to her, like rice eater and half breed and all this other fucked up yeah. shit. But I'm yeah. sure we'll find out more about her, you know, her parents and where she's actually from. Yeah. But but thank you guys for also like giving that education, like Ember said, and not spoiling anything. So it's been a yeah. great help I mean, to us. I mean, this is a huge world, so any, any help is always welcome but um on the other end of things we have the conductor um so now i'm guessing they're gonna get their password they're gonna make their way over to rafka but as far as pekka i don't think pekka is gonna give up so my guess is either he's gonna find somebody else that can give him safe passage or he's just gonna say fucking let's just go through the phone and take our chances or he's gonna wait for them to come back and like all right you guys did all the hard work now i'm gonna take your money yeah i but, mean that sounds like some grimy shit that pekka would do but i don't i think he's like gonna he's too gun ho with this yeah point. i think he, he's too much like you said he, he, he gives off that forward character i mean it, obviously because when he's like wait who who took the heart render and he's like cause and he went right there yeah so he's always he's at this point like give me my shit. Yeah, I kind of want to know their history still, like, because obviously- Yeah, there's always the history between Faz and Pekka is there too, and then, yeah, and as far as Inej, hopefully she gets her freedom. Hopefully, you know, I don't know if she's gonna maybe try to find her brother at this point, because now she has the conductor, I don't know, the conductoring to help find that, um, that dude with the silver tooth she was talking about, Gregor or whoever. Yep. Um, but maybe she, you know, can find her lost brother, but a lot of different shit, you know, in, in place right now. I'm ready to get the fuck in this place. Are you ready? Yeah, and I'm ready to see if Mal's gonna get that Medal of Honor to get invited. Yeah, because I feel cool. like it's the only way he's gonna get into the palace, and he's got time, because I'm sure there's gonna be a long ass training for Alina, but as usual, guys, you know, if you just take a couple seconds, hit the like button down below. It kind of helps us out. The more impressions equal more views. And uh, with that being said, let's fucking go. Hey, pro! I like how they do the intros different every episode. Yeah, gives every every episode its own personality. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It was kind of like those. Remember in the fold there was like those tree branches. Oh yeah. I don't think this is it though, because I see a goat. Oh, those are antlers. Dur, those are tree branches. Oh my god! <laughs> Dang, that was badass. Oh, yes, yeah, that's antlers. I don't know where this bad. will find you, but you mustn't worry about me. I'm fine. He's riding him. She's writing this like, oh, she's gonna get she some gets treated. treatment. I have my own very private room for the first time. Have you ever bathed? Gosh. <laughs> Fetch my kit. This is like Cinderella. Yeah, literally. Really, just unbridled respect. I mean, yeah, you're pretty much the chosen one, so. Your little friend from Karemzin. He's like, um, well, thank you for helping out, but I can change myself. Yeah, see a little Lena booty. Hopefully, these letters actually get to mom. Yeah. I am perfectly capable. I was about to say. And yes. Like oh, she speaks old Rafkin. Oh, thanks. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that yeah. lush shit. <laughs> well, she's humble, man. She came from poverty, so it's. Don't change my eyes. Damn. Oh, the tailor. That's what she is. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm guessing because she said, don't change my eyes. Yep. Oh, she made it go away. So Damn. cool. You're a healer. No, or she healer? I'm a tailor. Ah. See, uh, okay, I was to say, you threw me off. Almost as rare as you, though I'd hardly say saving the queen from sagging tits makes me as important as you. She's <laughs> like, I can also do plastic surgery. <laughs> just so easy. So it's not really, is that healing? Or is it more like just like... She just makes it go away. Like she hides it almost. Happens over a mind blow, I hope. 
Sentimental. I'll work on that. I bet women would love that because they know they deal with a straightener. Like, oh, if she had her own business. That should be lined around the fucking block. And that's the oh, location of our target. Sounds yeah. like alleged. Alleged. Then he still doesn't believe. Fraud in the most secure location in all of Rapta. Why does he have a contact? Doesn't believe it. Inside. A heart render. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Who's this contact? Nina. Corrupt her. Most recently, Nina. Nina. Sure. She despises yeah. involuntary service more than she does fear to use. Hey, Nina, what's up? Have a little patience. Mm -hmm. Damn. Just slowing his heartbeat. Of course. Is there anything else I can do to make your stay more enjoyable? Maybe I can make you fall in love real quick. Please show him to my room. Yep, give him. She gave him those endorphins, those pheromones. <laughs> yeah, man, I'll slow your heartbeat down. She's like a fucking Jedi. Holy yeah. shit. Badass. What the hell is this? Do this. Yes. Oh, Which? damn. There's those Fjordans. Yeah, don't fuck with this. Oh, no. God. Just like that? She was so cool. Oh, shit. She does hand-to-hand -hand combat. God damn. She's no joke either. Oh, come on. Yeah, they will just punch the women left and right, huh? She needs both hands, though. That's, that's, that's why they trapped her hand. And they know it, too. Fuck you, you look like a wannabe, um, what's that motherfucker, that guy in Game of Thrones. Yeah, you look like Jamie. that's what I thought it was, I was like, Jamie, is that you? <laughs> Jamie Lannister? She's gone. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Drew Skeller. Take a look. Make sure there aren't any more surprises. Oh, that's that. Assassin's Creed, just like that. Yeah, gone with the wind. You get us across the fold and I'll figure out the rest on the other side. Cross. Right, I mean, I need a goat. But for lunch or some weird ass sacrifice? Eat in the dead of night. Who gets what? Inej, Jada. Yeah. I'll get the goat. Just the coal. No detours. Damn. Well, hey, what are you take me for? <laughs> He's like, I'm going to Detour City, baby. Detour <laughs> City, right here. Alabaster coal. So what do you need? Coal, a goat, and what else? Uh, I missed the other thing. Or if they find the goat and it's Tom Brady, I'm like, ah. <laughs> oh, no. You and your gambling. Until Kim Piotr dies. Yeah. I heard the costume design and everything is based on like old, like ancient Russia. That's pretty cool. It'll be King Piotr, the Queen, Crown Prince Vasily, and the King's spiritual advisor. Spiritual advisor. The apparatus. The apparatus. This greasy cool. rat. What's that, a library? He's a greasy rat. Oh, saints. Saints. My grand palace is the ugliest building I've ever seen. God. Despite Jenny's magic, I didn't. With magic? Science, or rather, small science. It's like Thor, like, you look at it as magic, we look at it as science. I'm from a place where they're the same. Yeah. Just keep your focus on me, and you'll be fine. Damn, those hungry eyes again. Look at that whole army behind him. Look at the architecture in this palace, holy shit. Bro, ain't nobody penetrating this fucking fortress. <laughs> they have to come in here and smuggle her out. Good luck with that. Yeah. They got their work cut I'm out nervous for them. Nervous for them, I like that, I like that group. They're pretty clever, so. Yeah. I mean, if anything, I, I think maybe Inej can maybe sneak her way in here, but... I thought she was shoe. I guess she's shoe enough. God. Oh, I don't know. Uh, good morning. I don't actually speak shoe. It's Queen's little snob. She is Alina Starkov, the sun summoner. Dang, a lot of pressure on her shoulders. Starting now. I think little by little she'll fall into the role. Oh shit, starting now. Bro, those effects are sick. Yeah, it's cool how everyone else is calm because they know that he's not going to do attack. Yeah, like, oh, glad he's on our side. Does he want her to, like, demonstrate a little power? Yeah, make that shadow go away. I'll get the Queen's respect real quick. Oh, shit. Wow. Damn, so somehow he, can, he has the ability to kind of bring it out of her. That's sick. So cool. Look at how light her hand is. Pure light. Man, I made a King stand up. Hell <laughs> yeah, make a King stand up. She's like, call me shoe now, bitch. I'll put my shoe in your ass. Damn, full of applause. Yeah, King, you. Hey, let's clap for her. But this chatter from the West about becoming a sovereign nation. The sooner we are one country again, the better. Moitzar. 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 probably pronouncing that wrong. Moya Sedita is probably how he addresses the queen. And Moitzar, how he addresses the king. But he hasn't given any off any attention to be shady. Can't just judge him because, you know. Just because he's the shadow part. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt because it's fucking OP, but he's <laughs> not doing anything shady. Look at all of them getting to sit there like, oh, <laughs> you're so awesome. 
an honor to Well, there's the other hot one. You stay with the orphanage. Oh, freeze. God! Oh, shave it. Wait, what? Never mind. I don't like you no more. Yep. I don't like you. Oh, he got goat. the goat. He got a cool looking one. They better not have to kill the goat, though. He looks call cool. him Tom Brady. No, don't call him <laughs> that. Watch him do those clean ass little jumpy things with the goats. He's like, or is it one of those spainy goats where he gets scared? It's like, uh. <laughs> and what we earn instead of sending it to the east, the true Ravka. <laughs> the yeah, east considers, or the west considers himself true Ravka. So it seems like it's almost like a, it's like a civil war between east and west Ravka. Yeah. Oh, there's a conductor. Oh shit. He's adorable. Don't get attached. <laughs> don't get attached. Yeah. Your parents are Suli. They don't cross mm -hmm. the fold, they go around. I know. Damn. I just thought that if I saw the names on there, I could let the idea of them go. Your parents yeah. died. Kaz, this is all that I have left of them. Unless Hope is dangerous. Hope is also good though, Kaz. Come on. Hopefully she finds her brother, even if it's like on accident. Scream. Do whatever you have to do to push this out of your mind and move on. We all have debts to pay. I got my casino on the line. I get it. I get it, cause, but... Shit, they're actually on the sea. Where's this at? No, we have boats actually on the water. Damn. Uh, so they're like Vikings, pretty much. I mean, which... I mean, obviously their outfits give it away, but... Damn, Mina. Oh, shit, they got another one. Yeah, they kidnap them. Damn. Oh, fuck a little of them. Assholes. You're taking us to Fiada? Stage trial, as our law demands. Oh, shit. Fuck Things you. That are found innocent at your so-called trials. None of them. None. Just like Salem yeah. Witch Trials. The trials are a sham. I wonder if there's any good Fjordans, any good Druskel. That's what I'm hoping. Nice. Damn, your leg might get blown off. Well, wait. Coat's like, fuck, don't let me do this. Oh, that time, that, that was my idea to keep people away. Oh, shit. A little diversion for his passage. Oh, cool, we're about to see the passage. So what's the pulp of the, I mean, what's the purpose of this goat? Shit. Oh, shit. Or maybe they're gonna use it to maybe feed the vol the Volcros. Oh, they have if one, they, one they come goat. Across one. Maybe the goat protects them. I don't know. Maybe maybe the goat they don't like the smell of goats. It might be like mummies. How they don't like cats. Damn. And yeah, it's like train. Where the hell is Jasper at? Jasper better not still be gambling. Oh fuck. Oh no. I'm sorry. I owe the money. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. No, you got the coal. Or is that the coal? You have twenty pounds out of that's the coal. Didn't exactly know how to play uh, coal. I stole it. I lost a little bit of the money. I lost all of the money. God. 20 pounds of alabaster no, 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 16 pounds. 16 pounds of alabaster <laughs> Wow. Never been done before. Oh, that's the power oh, of the train. No. Landmark. Oh, shit, they, they are real. Sun Summoner. Like Doctor Strange training. It's just two different love interests, a love triangle, it's all right. Yep, complicated love triangle. I've had some training. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. God. Uh, Rocket friend also liked it when I put him on his back. Oh no. Oh no. You went there, didn't you? Oh no. Oh, bitch, you're gonna get it. Boom! Oh! <laughs> God! Can't fight fair. Ooh. Deer's like, oh. Wake up. Wake up, man. You got knocked out. You like books? Is this the advisor? Mercy is like a rat. I'm the king's spiritual advisor. Bingo. Curious about the law of the stag, are you? There you go. I want to know about it too, so. We began with this man. Jesus, is that you? First creature in recorded history. First Christian in recorded history. The bonesmith. The bonesmith. Damn. Would always be persecuted, so he worked on a plan to magnify their power. So how oh, powerful is he? He made creatures of his own single bones. Shadow and bone. Brimming with power. Mythical animals. Almost like Emir. Mythical animals. The thing you drink. Oh, about. the stag. Killing one of these beasts and melding a piece of it into their body would amplify their abilities. Oh, what amplify their abilities? With the right binding, the increase in power was. Which is a time maker. So she's destined to take a stag's life. Bagra awaits. Every Grisha is trained by Bagra to harness their power. Oh, shit. You have suffered. Oh, because they don't live in like clean house palace. I think you will suffer more. Damn. Let's see what this bagger is all about. Let's see if he's a cool character or not. I don't know. He yeah. reminds me of like a little finger. Like secret, 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 secret. Always not. Always not grimy. The other Grishas don't trust him, so I don't trust his ass either. You don't yeah. belong here. Told you, I do. You have to be told a thing to believe it. Damn. So it's yeah. condescending with everything. And can you summon the sun without the general clutching your wrist? Mm. His yeah. blood and bones amplify other Grisha. Did you know that? Ah, that's Dang. what it is. 
Everyone believes that you are the one. All right, Morpheus. Come back when you believe it too. Damn. I mean, she's not wrong. Back to the real issue. We're on tracks that <laughs> don't connect to other tracks. <laughs> Damn. Built slats on the car. Just they roll Shit. into place. Turbine generates enough wind. Push it. Fine. If they haven't attacked us in. Oh no! Oh, shit. Now we've got a problem. This what the Oh no! For. God. Oh shit! She probably never had food like that. I'll... Yeah, to her it's like. Mm. No, you can't eat it yet. And you have an odd gazzazzia taster. You want to make sure it's not poisoned or something? You'll be happy with the meal if you know I survive. Damn. See, he tastes to make sure it's not poisoned. That's why she... oh, oh shit! Dumbass. That goat's like, oh shit, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> I said I saw the goat. Not yep. Bring out the goat. Shut the damn goat. It's for you. I need you to calm down. Hunt the. <laughs> it's an anxiety goat. Oh no. Fuck. So soft. Uh, that's what a goat's for? God! Oh shit. Well, someone's gonna have to come through in a clutch. Damn, Jespa. Got the courage, now he's got the goat. He's like, I have the goat because I am the goat. Boom. Oh shit. Woo! Damn, one hand too. And he knows where they're at. Use a knife. God! Oh shit, oh, that's badass. Sick. sick shot. Oh. Done. And he did it with his eyes closed. Dome piece. And she they're out. out. Daylight, baby. It's why we had each other. Yeah, yeah let's keep going back to this memory. Yeah, they're a little shot. World is hard and cruel. Damn. It's fucked it up. is cruel. It's fucked up. But we had each other, and that was enough. You have always been my true north, Mal. Shit. Damn. Declaration of love. And if I am to survive this, I need to be home again with you. Yeah, that was sad when he, I thought he was about to die right there too. I was like, damn, in the first episode? I mean, I don't feel, I feel like he's still not safe. I'll be pissed off if she doesn't get to... I'm hoping those letters get there. I know. Hopefully he'll at least get to read the letters, of, even if they never see each other again. All right, the making at the heart of the world, Alicia, what would you think? Another uh, great episode. I mean, uh, uh, the beginning definitely caught my eye for a couple of different reasons. The Taylor's power and obviously she's gorgeous. Yeah, Jenya, uh, definitely. I, I like her character. And it's cool because like, we made a tailor, which I mean, I'm guessing that's like a woman's dream come true. A woman could like literally just yeah, make you over. She she like fixed the queen's sagging Ooh, boobs. My and... my dream come true too. Like, like sometimes I have to wake up with bags in my eyes. Like get these bags out of here. Like pfft. yeah, I mean Botox is a thing of the past. You know, Neil Sporn's a thing of the past. Yeah, like, Plastic surgery look all natural. It gave me bigger muscles. Yeah. So. <laughs> but yeah, she was a clean ass character. Um, and then yeah, we, you know we see. You know, kind of what we expected is uh, Alina starting her training, and she's getting this royal treatment, um, which I mean it's cool because. You know, living in an orphanage, she probably didn't get a taste of the finer things in life. So the fact that she got to put on a clean as a velvet coat, and she's That's getting, she's like, oh, I have to do all this myself. And so she's like, oh, this way, this coat's actually pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm mm -hmm. sure she likes to bathe herself. That's kind of weird, like other people bathing you, like on some Cinderella shit. But um, I'm sure it's something that she's gonna have to get used to. You know, like the scene where her and um, Kirigan are in front of the king and queen, and I thought that she was demonstrating her power because she felt comfortable around Kirigan because he was like holding her hand. But then we find out later that yeah. he has the power; he can pretty much amplify Greece powers by touching like bone on the skin or whatever yeah that was a pretty powerful scene too because it got the king to stand up because they could probably seen hope like wow this is real like this yeah is it's not just anymore yeah because at first um, they're probably definitely skeptical even though the queen i don't fucking like her ass because she's judgmental as fuck she's like looking down at her she's like Ugh, how, how much shoe are you yeah, like, that, like assume she didn't speak english and yeah, show well, that's just because she's born she was probably born in the royal yeah she's born with silver spoon in her mouth yeah exactly. and the same thing with zoya zoya's a petty ass bitch too because she's like jealous yeah she's like, yeah obviously she's jealous because she's got like, like, flip my mood for a second like oh there's that zoya she she looks, she yeah, looks like, like a, like a, a nice. pendulum swing. Like, oh yeah, I like Zoe's character. I mean, she was happy to reek of orphanage. I'm like, nope, so much for that. <laughs> Same as that fucking asshole kid in her, at her orphanage. Yeah, I mean, there's always one of those in every group, but... Um, hopefully she'll come around, maybe. I have a feeling she'll come around as Alina starts to, like, master her abilities. Like, give me, give you a redemption arc, because you're hot, but, like, be hot on the inside, too. Yeah, you're ugly on the inside for right now, but... <laughs> and then we get introduced to, I think his name's Apparat. They say he's, like, the king's advisor, and they even they warn Alina, like, yeah, he's kind of a shady, like, greasy rat character. And then he shows her, while she's in the library, he shows her kind of, like, the lore of the bonesmith. So I trust his knowledge, the fact that, like, he's, like, kind of showing her the origins of, the, like, the very first Grisha... And it explains those visions she was having with the stag. And it shows like different animals in that book too. I thought it was pretty cool. Like, and wonder... again, it's another tie back to something that reminded me of Attack on Titan with Emir, like the whole lore of Emir. She pretty much like the 
the Genesis issues of First Titan. So I don't, again, I don't know if these are just like similarities to I love that show or if this yeah. is done on purpose, but yeah. Um, then we meet Bagra, who's like, I guess like the one that trains her how to like harness, like how to master her, her skills and her abilities. And I like, I like the character because she's no bullshit. Everything she says is very condescending, but I guarantee she's gonna get Alina in the right mindset because right now Alina's still shy. She's, everything is so new to her. Um, she's kind of like nervous around other people. She reminds me of the, the in The Witcher. Remember the trainer at the Witcher's Academy? What, the one that was like training Yennefer and them? Yeah, the one that was training Yennefer. Yeah, yeah, same concept. She was like, no bullshit, but at the end of the day, the of the day it worked because the Yennefer came. And, then, and they had a bond at the end of the two. Yeah, so I'm sure that they'll have a bond together. Um, I like how she got licking on Zoya for talking that oh, shit. Yeah, you know, that was pretty cool. Not only is she like jealous of her getting uh, getting Kyrian's attention, but she's also jealous of the fact that, you know, she got Ma she's got Mal's attention. Yeah, because she, she tried to throw some shady comment. Like, I, your boy, uh, Mal liked it when I threw him on his back too or some shit. But she walked out and he shut the hell up, eat your grapes. <laughs> you know, but then, um, you know, so I like the whole, the whole, you know, segment in the palace. And I love the whole architecture of the palace, like the Russian yeah. lore. I love like culture in, in general. I, I like the that. things that, like, also that it's like a new element now. We didn't know about the fact that you can transfer the powers within animals and eat them, and it amplifies the power. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that I'm, I don't know if like that stag is like what's destined to be um, Alina's spirit animal. So eventually, or, she meets the stag in real life and like kills it, and eats it. And what if it's her. a flashback? Or maybe something that's already happened. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that show's crazy. And then the whole scene with the, you know, with Faz and the gang, they make, make a pit stop in West, uh, West Bravka, and they're trying to meet up with another uh, heart render, Nina. Yeah. Which it seemed like Nina was going to be, you know, there cool, for a cool character because they literally just introduced her and showed her, you know, swooning over the the attendant at that hotel or whatever. Yep. And then she was using her abilities to kind of like win her, win him over, and then he fucking ended up snitching on her to the fucking Drukelli. Pretty much the Debo uh, stuntman version of Jamie Lannister. Yeah, it's pretty much Jamie Lannister was a Viking, which I thought that for sure was the same actor. I was like, I had a double look and I was like, no, Jamie? Sure. Lannister? Jamie? Hey, Lannister? But either way, he's a fucking asshole. And now we fully see, like, they're pretty much like the Vikings of the show. They actually have ships that go on water. Yeah. And um, credit to her, she was holding her own for a little bit. I mean, yeah, as soon as they hand to hand combat, too. Totally hand to hand. hand. She needs both her hands. That's the thing, like, with the heart. Like, I'm sure with any Grisha, they need both their hands. She to obviously work. has some training because she was fighting on one hand, too. Yeah, it was one against five. So, and the fact that they just punch women in the face like goddamn. but at the end of the day they look at women they look at Grishas in general like lower than humans and I'm sure it's gonna be some Salem witch trial chicks they had all those other Grishas that he captured on the ship and it's just gonna be some mock it's trial it's not even a trial it's like a death sentence she's like well they're gonna, gonna do a trial like... for the sake of public public you know whatever yeah. and like, oh we sentence you to death yeah like, like, she's like how many people have come or yeah she's like, how many people have actually like been sentenced innocent in this trial she's like oh let me guess none he's, he's like I have no words he's just being an asshole but We'll see what happens there. Maybe they'll, you know, hopefully Lena, the old Grishas get word of what's going on and maybe or rescue him or if- Maybe um, someone you said it out of that group of assholes, there's not an asshole. I think maybe there's one of the Jukellis that's just, you know, he was born into, Jukelli doesn't know any better and he maybe, maybe Nina's the one that like wins him over and turns him, maybe like falls or sees Grisha for who they are. Yeah, maybe he falls in love with her, who knows. Um, and then you see Conductor, we see him and Fez in the gang. They, you know, start their journey through the fold and it's cool they have like a steam train because he, Asked him to get, you know, the ala, what was it called? The alabaster coal. Alabaster coal, 20 And then the pounds. goat, which I thought for sure the goat was going to be to feed to the Volcros as like a distraction. But it was funny, it ended up being like a special needs goat, like an yeah. anxiety goat. Anxiety goat. And yeah. it worked because, you know, when they're in the train moving along and all those Volcros start coming through and Jesper's like, fuck, we're going to die, what the fuck? And then like, grab the goat, just fucking grab the goat. And he's, he's like, like I'm not, like, not going to throw that goat out. He's like, don't throw the goat. Goat's for you. Shut up. Just but hey, the goat. I wouldn't be surprised in this fantasy where those goats are like enchanted or like calm your nerves. But if it's just an, you know, a normalized goat, then so be it. I wonder if Jasper's gonna keep the goat. He was clean as fuck, but he was doing headshots on those Volkers as soon as he had that goat. He's like, oh, you give me comments, make me believe. I, mean, I wonder if he'll keep it or cause right now. Get rid of that. I told you not to get attached. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be hard now. He's definitely attached. Just save his oh, life. But yeah, and then we had that um that one scene where Nez is like looking at the monument. I'm thinking she's looking for her parents' names, because I don't think she knows for sure if her parents are dead. She just assumes they're dead. Yeah. Um, but the fact is that, you know, she's kind of like by herself. She's part of, I think like her people are called the Suli, kind of like what we said last episode. But I'm guessing, you know, the fact that her parents are just presumed dead, she's gonna at some point want to find her brother. And I don't know if it's gonna happen by chance or like wherever they get to, like when now that they're through the fold, if yeah. she ends up running into her brother or if she ends up running to that Gregor character with the silver tooth. Yeah, I think they just both have different, I think whatever happened to Kaz in his past makes him feel a different way about hope. Cause he's like, don't have hope, it's dangerous. He's like, do whatever you need to do to get the shell out of your system and then move forward. Because I, I mean, he's, I think he's also trying to get her in the right mind, but at the same time, I think he's just doesn't have that anymore. Cause it's Maybe 
what happened with him and Pekka. Yeah, yeah. Pekka like did some foul shit, which that's crazy. Two characters we didn't see this episode is Maul and Pekka. Yeah, I mean we see you know Alina's writing letters to Mal this whole episode, yeah. and I, I think it's great because it's like a sense of um, like a sense of therapy for her, kind of like getting her thoughts and her fears off her chest. But at the same time, I hope he actually gets to read the letters, and yeah. I really hope they get to see each other again because that'd be fucked up. If he ends up dying, or like as soon as she like finally sees him, he gets killed, or as soon as she sees him that she's in love with the other guy. Here's yeah, I feel like there's gonna be a love triangle brewing there. But yeah, other than that, yeah, a lot of shit happened in this episode, but it was very like for momentum. The whole episode kind of kept me on the edge of my seat. Final thoughts, Glacier? Final thoughts, another great episode. Can't wait for the next one. Gonna get right into it and Dragon Certified for me. Yep, absolutely. And shout out to that one taste tester. That's probably one of the hardest jobs I've ever seen. You gotta test food to make sure it's not poison. So <laughs> hopefully he doesn't die, you know, hopefully nobody tries to poison Lena's food because that would fucking suck for that guy. But yeah, Dragon Certified, fucking hit it. And there you have it guys, another one in the books. The real question is, what did you guys think in there in Drag Squad Land? Again, we rely on you guys to kind of fill in the gaps because you guys are more, you know, more experienced on the lore behind this. But um, how are we doing so far as far as our understanding? And are there any other Easter eggs? Anything else that we missed out on? Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, join the Dragon Squad. And remember, it doesn't matter if you're up the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad. At the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're a dragon. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons. I am Ember. The Blaze. And I'm Glacier. The Iceborn. And until next time, we'll see you next time.